So first video I have here is how Kendrick Lamar just officially confirmed his new album. This is by Fantastic Hip Hop. They always deliver great videos, so you can check them out. Feel free to check their channel out as well. They have, uh, have a few videos with uh, some of their content on there. I'll probably tag one on this video. Now, as Drake came back outside with more new music, more clips of himself that were put out to flood everybody's timeline, and new hints that were alluding to the fact that he is going to be dropping more diss tracks on Kendrick Lamar gotcha. soon. One of the most important things that came out of this storm of content that Drake was trying to win back people's attention with was not really about him at all and was actually about the guy who has left him in shambles and is the reason why he is doing any of these strange things in the first place at the moment, which is, of course, Kendrick Lamar. Because after this summer where Drake has been running around and never looked more directionless in his entire career, all while Kendrick Ouch. has ended up having an all-time great year for a rapper in every single sense of the word from the respect to the acclaim to the numbers. By doing this all with just five songs released, he has had one of the most dominant years in recent hip-hop history, which has of course been led by the charge of Not Like Us. Because just with this single song, Kendrick has literally outstreamed and outcharted most full-fledged albums Never in the entire like music that. world this year. And now between all the success from this record, and how quiet Kendrick has been since dropping the Not Like Us music video in July, and then how Drake has seemingly done Kendrick's job of making himself look horrible for him with every questionable thing that he has done this summer. At this point, as it I seems- I just wanna let everybody know, he did say, um, he did say July, by the way, that was only like a month ago. Like, you feel me? Like, that wasn't that long ago, so him not responding is not a big fucking deal. Or not, not responding, because, like, he didn't need to say anything. He did his part. He did his thing. He dropped the music video, like, the song's still going. Song of the Summer, blah, blah, blah. Like, it, it was done. He flipped Drake over. He tripped him even more, and he was he was finished. Like, there's nothing else to even, like, add on to, so he doesn't need to, like, really say anything. But only a month passing is not a big fucking deal, you know? We're used to, like, years of Kendrick not saying anything, so it shouldn't be a big issue at all, I think. Personally, that's just me, though. If you disagree, you know, let me know in the chat, in the comments, wherever you want to leave it, wherever you see this. It seems like Kendrick's success has been solidified. People were starting to think that Kendrick Lamar's mission is done in 2024, and he will not be coming back out to give us any new music. But as rumblings about Kendrick, Drake, and the potential continuation of their beef has been coming back around as Drake has been begging for it. The internet exploded with speculation about what the next moves from both of these rappers are going to be, and how while initially what set this conversation off was when DJ Academic said that Kendrick Lamar is coming soon. And now, while Axe saying this alone is not reliable at all, considering who he tends to support and be in the know with, and as a result of this, he was actually called out for lying by people close to Kendrick. But then adding a legitimate voice and perspective to the storm that was created by Academic's comments about the next chapter of Kendrick's career. A friend of Kendrick who goes by Hidden J3 posted a few text messages between him and Lamar about the prospect of new music. And in response to the rumors that came out from DJ Academics, what this exchange between him and Kendrick said is, but A, is the album coming out or is you just on Demon? And in response to this, Kendrick said two words that spoke volumes, and these were, we coming. And now with this, as this user who posted the message is somebody who, as we can see, is friends with Kendrick Lamar and actually is followed by him. This is the most credible confirmation we have had recently about the fact that Kendrick's new album is coming out. But when you dig deeper into the facts and look at the landscape of both the- So, be sure to take everything with a grain of salt, bruh. Because you never know, like, it's like, it's all speculation, as, as Buddy's saying, bruh. It's like, don't just, like, assume that the album's dropping on this day, this time, but until, until it's officially announced, just take it with a grain of salt. Because he's not saying that right now, but take it with a grain of salt. It's like, uh, the album probably is coming, but there's no confirmation yet. Music industry this 100%. year, and also just look at the purpose of what Kendrick Lamar was really trying to do when calling out Drake beyond just destroying his biggest rival. It really shouldn't be a surprise that Kendrick is preparing to give us another full-length body of work. And on top of that, that he hasn't done it yet, because right off the bat, as we have seen in the music world, from Drake's absolute failure of handling this beef and its aftermath, which has weakened him way more than anyone would have imagined when Kendrick just released his own set of diss tracks, to the fact that Not Like Us has become one of the most dominant hits that the music world has seen in such a long time, as it is still cracking the top five of the charts with ease every week. It simply wouldn't make sense for Kendrick to release an album yet because based on his opponent's playbook and the fact that because of the will of the people, they are not over what he has already given them. 
He would only be stepping on himself right now, and everything he thought out so thoroughly to expose Drake at this point. And now, while Drake fans think it's this big gotcha moment that Kendrick is letting the music world breathe so Not Like Us can be as dominant as possible. This is just such a flawed way of thinking and shows a fundamental lack of understanding in terms of how the music industry works, because when you get a hit song like this, and especially one that is serving a greater cultural purpose each day because of what the song is actually saying and doing, why would you end its dominance before it has fully charted its course? But now as the summer is coming to a close, and it seems like Not Like Us is bound to begin to finally lose some steam, as it will now be months after the last music release we have gotten from Kendrick, the clock is now no, getting- definitely. It's, it's, it's lost quite a bit of steam. People are uh, getting tired of the song. So that's, that's, that's a thing, you know. You know you know who you are. You're getting tired of the song. And it's fine. I don't, I don't listen to it every day or anything. I, I don't get tired of it, though. If it's on, like, it plays randomly, I leave it on or whatever. I know my wife is tired of the song, but, like, I be chilling. Like, the song is fine. It doesn't ever bother me. But it's like, uh, I don't sit there and like go out of my way to play it anymore like I, I was. But it's still, it's still a good song, bro. I wouldn't say, like, uh... No, I, I guess, like, you can call it a song or something. I can't think of any, any other song right now that would be. But it, was, it wasn't a bad song. Still isn't. Is it overplayed? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. You, you gotta be honest. It's, it's overplayed a lot. But not anymore. It's time to die down a lot. It's all cool now. And closer to being set off for his next major move and while aside from the fact that we know that close collaborators to Kendrick who have worked on some of his best and most iconic projects like Terrace Martin have been in the studio working on something with him and also that others like DJ Mustard have sent him a ton of beats over the past few months we don't know any other possible info about the project but even without more information when you look at what this 2024 represents for Kendrick Lamar and what his mission with this beef was his job of restoring hip-hop back to the place he wants it to be in is not. So when you understand that through all of Kendrick's diss tracks, he wasn't just attacking Drake this hard because of their personal differences, but also because he despises what his clickbaiting, number-driven model of artistry has contorted the culture he loves into. Kendrick destroying Drake in the manner he did was his way of repositioning hip-hop culture back into a place where it can thrive in an organic way that honors the art and the greater messages that were founded on hip-hop and change lives. But now, in order to really crack the tides back and send the shockwaves that he needs to on such a great and significant level, Kendrick still has to follow this battle up with a body of work because as the entire world will be waiting to see what he does next and how he moves after the beef. When Kendrick comes with this new body of work, and if it's anything like the rest of his catalog, just in terms of its quality, which means it will be an amazing record at that, he is going to completely reshape and reframe the public perception of hip-hop right now because due to what he has done and where he has put the genre at, not just rap, but the music world has never cared more about lyrics and the nuances that define hip-hop at its very core when it's at its best. So now with all of this, I think it's safe to say that we are bound to get a Kendrick Lamar album very soon. And now with even more tweets from the people around Kendrick saying that they are not going to be focusing on pointing things back at Drake again and instead are going to be releasing music that is serving a different and seemingly greater purpose, I think this confirms what Kendrick is really trying to do with this album if it wasn't already clear. But now as Kendrick has this mission to complete and despite how pathetic somebody like Drake has been, if Drake was somehow able to release another massive hit that has anywhere near the same impact that one of his number one hits in the late 2010s did, while it seems like Drake couldn't even crack the top 20 if he tried right now, we can't fully discount his track record and underestimate him, and as Kendrick Lamar literally like, won this uh, beat, it's a You say you can't crack the top 20, bro? Hold on, let me, let me over here. Fully discount his track record and underestimate him, and another massive hit that has anywhere near the same impact that one of his number one hits in the late 2010s did. While it seems oh, like Drake okay. couldn't even crack the top 20 if he tried right now, we can't fully discount his track record and under- like he, he didn't definitely crack the top 20, it's just like, uh, as popular as the songs used to be. Okay, I, I can give you that one, but they are they are coming out rushed because it's like, it was, it was this season, you know what I mean? So, of course, they were coming out a, a, little, a little rushed, you know, a little quickly. It, it is what it is, though, you feel me? Like, it's not a big deal. It's like, they, they were good, though. They were good disses, bro. It was a good little battle, and we might get a round two. You, we don't know, though. We don't see estimate him and as Kendrick Lamar right literally won this beef in a landslide by never letting up on Drake and putting the gas on him despite their clear difference in skill levels all while Drake lost as miserably as he did because he did not properly estimate yeah, what his opponent was capable of. It doesn't seem likely that Kendrick is gonna underestimate Drake here as this just wouldn't align with his genius battle strategy so with this 
It seems like Kendrick has to release this album within the next couple of months to make sure that he completes this mission that he set himself out on, or it could have all been for nothing in terms of the greater sense of it all. So now, if I had to estimate when this record will drop, considering how thought out everything Kendrick has done during this moment in time has been, as from releasing Like That when Drake was still on tour, to 616 in LA having countless different meetings that all mirror the demise and failure of Drake, to the Not Like Us music video coming out while Drake was at Michael Rubin's white party. In line with these moments that despite Kendrick seemingly being done with head on disses for Drake at the moment, as he is still trying to quietly destroy him at this point and make every single living moment of his a nightmare. I think he is going to continue this trend to symbolically represent just how he's changing the tides in hip hop and release this album in late October, as Drake's birthday is on October 24th, which is a Thursday. So Kendrick could come with his actual version of the Hard Part 6 then and actually put Damn. out the album on Friday the 25th. And while it's a dog, that shit would be nuts if he did that just to just cuz, bro. Cuz like he'd been quiet and he just pop out on his birthday or something. And that's some shit he would do, bro. He's pretty damn petty. Like, if we're being honest, like, he honestly pretty damn petty. Like, he, he might do that shit. Like, we all saw the fucking Kenneth friends pop out and shit, bro. Like, he, he's, he's being pretty petty. So, he, he probably don't do that impossible to predict what honestly. Kendrick is really going to do as he is one of the most unpredictable artists of our generation just in terms of how creative and boundless he is. All signs are pointing to the fact that this album is near and it is going to be coming sooner rather than later because if Kendrick does not deliver the moment that will follow up on this beef and completely recontextualize the state of hip hop as Lamar creates a new blueprint and sets a new standard for rappers to follow on. In terms of what this beef will represent for hip hop when we look at how the genre will grow and move past this era where Drake has seemingly exploited rap music and created so many of the worst parts about it today. Without this extended musical force from Kendrick, it could all be for nothing. So now with all that said, let me know. Do you think my prediction on when Kendrick is going to drop is correct, or do you think he is going to be coming around another time? I can't wait to hear what you have to say, and if you want to see how- So, my nigga right here thinking around his birthday. What are, you, what, are, what are we thinking? I just want to know. Let me know down there. I just want I just want to know what you what you're thinking about it, because I'm excited for a Kendrick album to come out, especially after this whole whole thing happened. I'm excited he took or Drake took the hard part six. We don't see if Kendrick made seven or does he remade six, or leave, or maybe not. He doesn't do anything. Maybe he leaves it alone. Doesn't even mess with it. I don't know, but there, there's there's gonna be a lot. It is gonna be good, and then like I already know Drake's gonna have something like either before or after. There's gonna be more. It's not. It's not gonna end with just whatever comes out next. So it's gonna be real good. I can't wait.